Don't you stop Cause tonight It's on the line Show me how You get on down Close my eyes Bit for our training row Everything was perfectly normal Came back into the shore um, Jumped out of the boat As I would normally do And uh, all of a sudden I, I felt perfectly at peace with Myself, the world, everything around me I had no pain, no anxiety, no stress. And I heard Alison asking if he was okay a couple of times. It became really evident that he was far from okay. We took him onto the shore and put, put him in the recovery position and then clearly recognised he wasn't breathing at that point. So we turned him round onto his back and um, just started CPR. Two boys appeared from nowhere um, and I asked them if they would go and get the defib. The 999 were called and we were having instructions on what to do. And then after that I really remember nothing at all until I was going through to, I would have been through to Aberdeen in the middle of the night which was probably about three or four hours later. But the defib is really what sparked me back to life, there's no question of that. Absolutely essential. Without it I wouldn't be here. Uh, Kieran was a, a pupil at Elgin Academy and a fantastic one at that. Uh, he's an absolute joy to have in school. Did so much uh, in his time with us, um, particularly you know, the amazing talents. Uh, he had a particular spark and interest in PE, um, so much so that he still, as part of his legacy, has an award named after him. Obviously, we'd worked very closely with um, with Sandra and Gordon and the charity um, in its creation. Really, they asked us about a defib, and obviously, we were absolutely honoured and delighted to, to receive. I think one of the first ones being Kieran's school. It sits right pride as you come in the entrance to our school. And we're very proud of the fact that it sits there, and, uh, kind of in in, in, in Kieran's memory. We've dealt with um, tragic incidents before. And I think every golf course in Moray should have one. In fact, the whole of Scotland should have one. We ourselves, we lost one of our members on a golf course, not here. And that was a tragic incident where maybe if a DFib was available, we could have saved that person's life. Yes, yeah, so our manager identified that we needed to replace our DFibs. And Kieran's legacy was the ideal opportunity to approach them for help and assistance. And now, with great help and support that is now happening everywhere in Scotland should have one. Gordon and uh, Sandra approached um, uh, us at Mackenzie and Crookshank whether we would be interested in putting a defibrillator um, into store. I was a keen cyclist, more on the road side of things, and obviously I'd heard about the Kieran's story and, and, and what had happened there. So instantly with the cycling connection, um, Dad and myself were, were, were more than happy to, to, to have one and put one in. Sandra made it super easy to, to, to order one, um, get one in and get the right one for us as well. Um, in terms of uh, the casing, the actual defib that, that went in. Um, then from that, once it was in, installed, it was, uh, Sandra gave us all the training that we needed um, and then the ongoing support and even today, uh, you know, Sandra's give, busy about to give more training and then also she's, she's going to do some first aid work with us as well. Um, so it's, it's actually really good that the, the defibrillators here at Mackenzie and Crookshank, not, not just for the customers that we have that are coming through the doors, but because we are on a popular walking route with the River Findorn just behind us, um, it's, it's there if in, in case of emergency for that as well. You know, the word legacy is, is one that I, I very much believe, you know, they chose, they chose very well because they're, they're, what the work they've done is befitting of that term. I think what we all would like to say more than anything is thank you to Sandra and Gordon for this wonderful legacy, um, for these, you know, wonderful uh, defibs that they have around the place in memory of their son, Kieran, uh, without which McLean certainly wouldn't be here and lots of other people wouldn't be either. Um, so it's their tireless work um, that has achieved this um, and nobody can uh, underestimate that. Thank you for my life. Thank you. Thank you, Kieran. Thank you, Kieran. Yeah.